we'll discuss uh, in the interior of heart. Now come to the interior of the heart. Uh, before going to the interior, we have to know the anatomical position. This one is the atrium, right atrium. And in the posterior aspect, that is left atrium. This is right ventricle and this one is the left ventricle. If I flap out uh, in the heart section here, we can see a crescentric shape muscular elevation here. You can uh, from close visualization, this is this one. This crescentric shape muscular elevation is known as the crista terminalis. Crista means moon, half moon, okay? It looks like the half moon. This crista terminalis actually separate the smooth part here, the smooth part of right atria from the rough part. This rough part actually formed by some muscle. These are known as the pectinate muscles. So we can say the crista terminalis separate the smooth part of the right atrium from the rough part of right atrium. And externally, this crista terminalis here, if I close it, externally it is represented by a sulcus. Okay, that sulcus which extends from the along the right border, which extends from superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava. This sulcus is known as the sulcus terminalis. And the clinical important here, uh, the SA not situated. Uh, okay, now goes to the come to the anterior. And we know the interior of the right atrium, there are rough part and a smooth part. And uh, we have to know uh, smooth part is produced by the inflowing of uh, some uh, vein. Uh, which vein? From the ever, from the ever here, from the ever, there is opening of the superior vena cava. Here you can see. And from the below, this opening, actually this opening, okay. This is the opening from the below. This is the opening of the inferior vena cava. Uh, for your easy understand, if I introduce my finger, okay. If I introduce my the finger from ever here, you can see this, this thing, this opening. This is the opening of superior vena cava. And from the below, this is the opening of the inferior vena cava. So this is the uh, opening of the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and there is also opening of the coronary sinus. Here you can see if I try to see here, this is small opening. This is the opening of the coronary sinus. So this is the smooth part of the right atrium, and this vessel open here. And uh, beside this, there are a small opening of the veni cordis minimi through the foramen venera minimum. Okay. So this is structure open into the interior of the right atrium in the smooth part. Now, uh, to give you a clear conception about the ventricle, I show you another viscera. This is this is right ventricle and this is left ventricle. How we differentiate this one is the right and this one is the left by seeing the ventricular wall. Here you can see the right ventricle wall is thin and the left ventricular wall is three times thicker than the right ventricular wall. Okay. And in the ventricular wall, this rough portion actually produced by the trabeculi carni. So you have to know what is trabeculi carni. Trabeculi carni are the structure, this muscular elevation, this elevation, this muscular elevation are known as the ridges. And the muscular elevation uh, with two end fixed here, uh, if you can able to understand here, I pass uh, my first step from this, it's two end fixed and middle portion is free. This muscular elevation is known as the bridges. You know the bridge has two end fixed and middle portion is free. So this muscular elevation is known as the bridge. And this conical muscular projection, this conical muscular projection are known as the papillary muscle. These all three ridge, bridge and papillary muscle form the trabeculi carni. Okay, and this give it uh, the roughness of the ventricle. And in between the atrium here in the above no, upper portion, the atrium and the ventricle, there is a orifice. Okay, there, here you can see there is an orifice in between the atrium and the ventricle. This orifice is known as the atrioventricular orifice. And this orifice is guarded by uh, cuffs. Okay, the valve, these cuffs. Here on the right side, there are three cuffs. Here, here in the right side, this is the anterior and the inferior and the septal, okay, anterior posterior and septal, you can say, these are the three cuffs. So here we can say it tricuspid, okay. These cuffs are nothing but the reduplication of the endocardium, okay. And this papillary muscle here, here I cut it, okay. This is the cut section of one papillary muscle. These cuffs, these cuffs connected with this papillary muscle by a cord-like structure, 
this cord like structure are called coda tendini okay cord like structure is known as the coda tendini this coda tendini are nothing but the collagen fiber and they are covered by the endothelium we know endothelium is the lining of the blood vessel and the heart is, is nothing but a uh, dilated blood vessel so the coda tendini is the collagen fiber thread like structure thread like collagen fiber and which is covered by the endocardium okay so in the right side we see there are three cups so this valve is known as tricuspid valve and on the left side it is guarded by two cups here uh, you can see here one and in the inferior aspect uh, two so this is guarded by two cups so in the left uh, valve it is known as the bicuspid valve there is another name mitral valve okay and in between the two ventricles, uh, this, this septum, it forms a septum partition. This is known as the interventricular septum. It has two parts. This is more muscular part, okay, larger muscular part. And in the above, this is membranous part, okay. And in the atrium, there is interatrial septum. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.